and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jund Unsealing. That's right, for our Throwback Thursday uh, deck that we're finishing up our th Throwback Thursday stream with is going to be a Sarkin's Unsealing deck. You may remember this deck that we actually played. This was actually a donation deck that we played um, about six weeks ago or so, uh, like towards the end of July. I believe is whenever we played it the last time, but it was a lot of fun and kind of going through uh, the cards, you know, like rares and mythics to build around. Um, I guess I should explain that if you're if you don't really know what our Throwback Thursday bit is here. Basically, I take a rare or mythic that is rotating out that didn't really see any play, such as Sarkin's Unsealing, and build a deck around it. And so we've gotten through like 15, 20 or ish cards um you know earlier we did oath of teferi and kumena and weather and weatherlight um if you're watching on youtube make sure you check out the playlist because there's so many uh, good throwback thursday decks there uh this one though i did want to just play sarkins and ceiling again because i only played it like really the one time and so i'm going with basically the same list that we had last time i i updated just a little bit uh to it um, i put a carnage tyrant in the main deck because I want an additional seven power creature. I guess I could kind of say what this card does. If you don't don't know what this card does, but if you cast a creature spell with power four, five, or six, you get to do four damage to any target. So you know four damage to a creature, to a planeswalker, even to the player to help to start killing them as well. Um, but then whenever you cast, and so like our deck has, we have a lot of fours with Ripjaw, Ceratops, Regisaur Alpha. But then whenever you cast a creature spell with power seven or greater. So, like, Rotting Regisaur is perfect, but then also Carnage Tyrant, Galta. You get to do four damage to the opponent and each creature and Planeswalker they control. So, do they go wide with, with a bunch of tokens because of Field of the Dead? Doesn't matter. All you have to do is casting rot, cast a Rotting Regisaur, do four damage to all their stuff, and four damage to them as well. Sarkin's Ceiling is really cool. So, we're uh, getting a Dinosaur deck with it. Hope to do some cool, cool stuff with it. Last time... Um, we did real well with the deck, but we played against a whole bunch of flash decks. Was, you know, flash decks were kind of popular, and like mono blue and flash, and our our four main deck ceratops with the four, you know, uh, commune with dinosaurs to help find them, just really destroyed our opponents that league. But let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's see how we do. Let's see if we can get. So far, we've gone two, two, three, two, and two, two with our decks, where we play until we get two losses maybe we can get a 4-2 here we'll see maybe five our five win dream still alive for now all right this is hawkeye He's my little kitty cat he's the best he decided to come up and join us ali did i join them with the wrong deck I joined with the wrong deck, didn't I? This is the wrong dinosaur deck. This is like a different John Dinosaurs deck, I guess? I mean, so I, I really should just concede. Like, usually I just would just concede because I joined with the wrong deck. But then, you know, Ollie's probably like streaming, and then everybody's going to be like, wow, what a jerk. He just conceded the match. But like, I, I joined with the wrong deck. I don't want to be. I don't want to be playing this. Uh, can y'all check? Is Ollie is Ollie streaming? And if so, can you can you tell him that I joined with the wrong deck and I'm conceding because I I just started this league with the wrong one. Okay. All right. Well, y'all go tell him in in chat. That's why I'm doing this. Because he's like they're probably gonna be confused over there. But just tell them that I accidentally joined the league with the wrong deck. Because that's not the one I wanted to play. Or let's see, not that, resign. All right, so we want. Choose your deck. I want Jund Unsealing. So this Jund Dinosaurs went up to the top because it had 
like the decks that have the ban like the card they say is banned like gets jumped up to the top i want jund unsealing that's the correct one yeah ali yeah ali always does some weird stuff for sure but you know i'm making my video with my unsealing deck and it's just the i just have the wrong deck there So that's really unfortunate. But here we go. Good looking hands. I guess I didn't really talk about it. With this uh, with this deck, we're playing Land War Elf and I'm playing Drover the Mighty. Instead of playing, you know, uh, what's popular with the, the John Dinosaur decks is to play the, um, the red two mana creatures that make your dinosaurs cost less mana. You know, like Marauding Raptor and the other one. But we're going with Llanowar Elf and Drover the Mighty that just add mana themselves naturally because they ramp into Sarkhan's Unsealing. That's, that's what we want our... So that's why I'm not playing like Marauding Raptor because Marauding Raptor doesn't actually ramp into Sarkhan's Unsealing. All right, well, we got the correct deck this time. We got turn three on ceiling. I'm not sure, Caesar. I hope so. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Oh. All right, let's go dinosaur. I would like to draw a land because my opponent may kill one of these land or elves. So it would be good to get a land. Yeah, they did kill a land or elf. Do we get a land? No, we did not. Oh, that's a bummer. That could be game, because then if they kill this land war elf, then it's just like really bad for us. My opponent's very methodical. Taking a long time to decide what to do. Yeah, the okay, yeah, so with with the sound problems. Basically, it was, uh, I spent a couple hours today trying to fix it, and I couldn't fix it, and, like, basically just wouldn't, it couldn't get it to work like it was supposed to, but, um, then I eventually kind of gave up, and I just did a, I, uh, did a system restore, and just restored the previous version of Windows, like, basically before the update, and it's, and it's back, and, and it's all the same as it was before the update. So everything's working now again, but um, yeah, I, I couldn't actually get get it to work after that Windows update. Uh, I I do believe that that so yeah. Question is, what's your opinion on always bolt the bird? I I think that's a very good um, way to to live. I think that bolting the bird is really important, and I I would recommend bolting the bird all the time because it's just paying. Spending one mana for a land destruction spell. I know, right? We have so many lands and, and other mana creatures and stuff, but no. Even if I play my land and then I play my four drop next turn, we're still taking lethal. So, just conceding. We really need to get that unsealing in play. Um, I'm going to trim the Carnage Tyrant with it being a little slow, and I'm going to bring in the Legion's Ends. I don't think I really want Flame Sweep. Trophy may not be bad.
Ceratops isn't spectacular. Maybe Trophy's better than Savage Stomp. I guess Savage Stomp is... Kinda slow. Obviously this card is really great against War Boss, but it's not really that good against anything else. It's usually their uh, other, you know, Don doesn't kill a Danto Vanguard, the other 2-2, two -two, they get to pump. Let's just do this. Oh yeah, Duress is good against Feather. Yes, Duress is good. I should be playing Duress. I could do that instead of like one unsealing and no, I'm going to keep unsealing. Oh, we're just going to keep it like this. Here we go. Yeah, because we have the 24 lands, plus we have the four commune with dinosaurs that are basically lands. Like, commune can always be a land. So it's basically 28 lands, and then our eight mana creatures. So that's getting to be much more than half of our deck. So, of course, we do not want to see um, Reckless Rage on the, the Regisaur Alpha. Okay, good. No Reckless Rage. That means we get Galta this next turn. Galta just costs two. I was just gonna I was gonna swing with everybody, and you know even land where I was everybody. I was just attacking with everything. All right, so we played Duress. I should be playing the Stomps also. All right, we're going to trim. Two Unsealing, two Ceratops. All right, here we go. Game number three. Oh. Sorry, I had the camera lower because Hawkeye was in my lap. Yeah. I mean, Duress is good. But I don't think we can keep that high of a mana curve. Dang. Well, this could be better. This could have gone better.
don't think we're winning this. I did say Duress was good against Feather, but lands are a little better. GG's. Really, really disappointing game there. Oh, I didn't update this. Let's try again. We played two games where we didn't get to cast spells. Or just two games where we just didn't draw, didn't have lands, and didn't play anything. So not much to do there. Tried Mulligan and went down to five cards. <laughs> what is going on with this deck? Thank you. Hey, Gatsby, good evening. I could have could have played Unworn Territory on Elf and played Land War Elf. Thought about it. Tybalt Rager? I don't even know what this card is. Tybalt's Rager. Whenever it dies, it deals one damage to any target. You don't look scared. Oh, gotcha. White cream. Well, well, cool. Well, yeah, I got it. I got it saved. So. Hopefully, it works. Okay, dinosaur. I like this Tybalt Tribal. My opponent's playing Tybalt Tribal. That's pretty cool. It's blue-red with Island Island. That's real metal. Resistance are painfully sloppy. Hawkeye's face is like a centimeter away from the computer screen. Like, he's like just sitting uh, like perpendicular to it, basically. Alright, so our land war elf dies. We draw a card and get one of these things out of here. No, our ripjaw dies. We draw two cards. I kind of forgot we had Savage Stomp because Hawkeye was blocking it. I could only see Drover over. Drover over. Hmm. 
<laughs> no, Hawkeye's never cast stuff for me. He, I think he skipped my turn before. I think he's walked by and hit like the the space bar, and uh, you know, like it's like, you know, it asks like if you want to go to like the, the next phase or whatever. I think he's skipped my turn. He was like, you don't need to do anymore. You're good. All right, so if they're like infuriating stuff. Don't know if I really like the block. I cast commune with dinosaurs first because I was looking for for another Riptar Raptor. Ooh, red ley line. <laughs> He's like laying on like the edge of the keyboard right now. I'm scared that he'll actually hit something on the keyboard, but He's so close to hitting something. Hmm. All right, 10 damage down. 10 damage to go. We're halfway there. They're staying aggro. Okay. I didn't know Uncaged Fury was back in standard. And then Sure Strike. They could just like play defense and just blocked my creature and then sure striked theirs and killed mine. All right, Legion's End coming on in. And Flame Sweep. And we'll take out Stompers. I mean, it could be I just should take out, like, Drover of the Mighties with playing Flame Sweep. It's not, like, the best combination to be playing as a whole bunch of mana creatures and Flame Sweeps. So maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll just play more removal here. Keep all this stuff in and just take out Drovers. Dress ain't bad either. All right, here we go. Hey, Hawkeye. Axe Stone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can't play defensive in a Tybalt deck. That's true. So opponent had to attack. Definitely a slow hand here. But we'll see. I don't have like a two-drop dino to go find. I'm just going to play the stomping ground. Get that into play. Unlock both of these. Yeah, 
here's a miss. Terramander. My card's good. Ugh, wish I would have communed last turn. No, I want to draw this one. Well, we still got two Shifting Ceratops after two draw steps and a commune <laughs> turning into three lands. They were Tybalt Tribal last game. Now they're 1-1 one, one Tribal. What'd they discard? Oh, Inferior 8. Okay. And I'm just Tapland Tribal, so... 1-1 one, one Tribal is beating Tapland Tribal. Play nice, they said. <laughs> My friend is here to <laughs> They really are 1-1 one, one tribal. Look at how crazy this looks. Just a red creature, a blue creature, a black token, a red token. Hey, that's a good card to draw. Now that we finally have four mana and can play our four drop, now we now we draw something that would have been uh, good to have before that. <laughs> yeah, what if they do have Tetsuko? They they could have Tetsuko. That could be a thing. Make their one power creatures unblockable. Yeah, so like our our three losses so far this league, you know, we've won two games, but we've lost three games, and all three like the we had two losses like where we just had no lands at all and couldn't play anything, and then we had that loss where. We just had a bunch of lands. So, yep, RNG giveth and it taketh away. That's a good line. All right, we got turn to rotting Regisaur here. Probably discarding the Flame Sweep. So, I think I want to hit another land drop and try to get to Ceratops. Let me discard that thing. It's a little faster than last time. They had already had four turns um, and basically had killed me before I played a creature. This time, they'd only had one turn, played a 1-1, one, one, and then I'm already got the 7-6 out here. What is that attack about? I have no idea. Can't be a good attack. There's no way they do 5 damage with 1 mana, right? There's no way. So Ceratops hits a little harder than Ripjaw. Go Ceratops. However, if our if we would know that we would draw a land, playing Ripjaw would be better where we can go hasty Ceratops next turn. But Okay, well. Riding Registrar loses all abilities. 
So Kesmina's Transmutation. Uh, enchant Creature loses all abilities, has base power, toughness 1-1. One, one. So loses all abilities, so I no longer have to discard a card from my hand each turn. So that's convenient. We get to keep... Oh, really, Auto-Tap? All right, well, it didn't hurt us, but... <laughs> Auto-Tap was like, okay, you have three green red and one green black let's tap the green black that could have been bad if like our if we saw like a rotting register for our only card there <laughs> what why what we have two one ones and then a Ripjaw Raptor. They do the damage to the Ripjaw Raptor. Not like the one ones. <laughs> yeah, they just they just gave up. Good game. I don't even know what is this card though. Blind blast. Blind blast. All right, one on one. Yeah, Fun knows what's up. Ugh. All right, let's see. You get paired against something a little tougher for our John Dunn ceiling deck here. Yeah, my opponent's dedication to the aggro way was pretty great there. They were living that aggro life. You have a 7-6, I have a 1-1. One, one. Attack. <laughs> we haven't gotten Sarkins and Ceiling in play yet, have we? I don't think so. Oh, we did. Oh, no, we didn't. The one game, like the very first game, looked like we were gonna ramp into it, but both of our mana creatures were killed, and we got stuck on lands. Gutter bones. We've been playing our jank today as well. But today really has been a a jank filled day from our opponents also. Been a lot of jank today. All right, have a good night, radical guru. Okay. Okay. Judith is pretty good. If we do not draw land, we will lose. Yeah, yeah, it looks like they're like Mardu aristocrats. Yeah, sacrifice deck. They got this game. Ugh. I, there's no creature to find to play this next turn. We're just taking lethal.
you know, I'm not even gonna play Flame Sweep. I'll just have a, a better hand. We're gonna ramp into Sarkins and Ceiling, and then we're gonna start dropping dinosaurs that kill our opponent. Basically, I'm I'm just not not bringing in much here. I'm not gonna water down the game plan. I think I think that game plan is better than what my opponent's doing. We just need that game plan to actually happen. So I don't want to take out too much of any part of our deck. So I'm I'm gonna be taking land with commun with dinosaurs here. I think I'm just taking land. So Reggie. Yeah, I'm just taking land. Not gonna risk it. Good, plans coming together. That's a good land to take there. Hey, <laughs> dropping dinos. Reggie, Reggie. They can trade Judith for the 3 3 if they would like. I'm willing to take that trade. Of course, with our last two drops, that's being land land. Now, now taking the unclaimed territory looks kind of silly. Wish I had another Registrar Alpha to follow this one up. Oh, why did I just do haste? It already has haste because it register off it. I could have done trample. <laughs> uh. Well, that block and they're dead. That was not a good block. Puts them down to zero. Like, didn't matter. Yeah, got to get the double haste. Double haste, the way to go. <laughs> Yay, math. I mean, you're when you're blocking, you got to do math. We had the the one extra damage trampled over from the. Dino that Judith blocked. Ah, gotcha. Double haste is unblockable. Yep, yep. That's what that's what I yep, I definitely knew that. Definitely knew the double haste was unblockable. That's what I was going with there. That's what I was going with. That's why my opponent didn't block my 5-4 with without trample. Totally. All right, game three. This is a big game three. If we lose this, our, our league's done. It's a big game three here. Come on, deck. Let's get a good curve into turn three, Sarkin's Unsealing. Turn four, play Rotting Regisaur. Oh, man. Good card, good card, good card, good card. Ugh, that's so rough. 
is still a keep. Yeah. All we have to do is draw a land, and then we got a 7-6 on turn 3. Like, that's still good. Like, going 7-6 on turn 3 and then 4-5 on turn 4 is good. But we, we just got to draw lands. It's not fast. No. No. Ugh. What a terrible draw. And then the opponent has one drop, two drop. This is not good. You have got to be kidding me, deck. So, you know, we have our 22 other lands, plus we have the four commune with dinosaurs that all any of those would have been, like, drawing a land. So it's like we had 26... Yeah, and then, then the four land where elves are kind of like drawing... A, like, that's a little bit less, but... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, we had a lot of good hits. Shock land... At this point, is not ideal, but they didn't have a, a turn three. Wait, in which sense is the logo of magic going inside the A of the little waiting animation? Is it left or right? I'm not sure I'm not sure what animation y'all are talking which one you're referring to. But maybe somebody in chat knows, but I I honestly not sure what you mean there. Every single one of our losses is just no lands, all lands. Like, we're not even, like, losing games of magic. Why doesn't my opponent just attack me? I'm dead. Not even playing games of magic there. Okay. So we All right, so wrap up. We did not really get to play very many games of magic. Um So if you're watching this on YouTube, I am going to go ahead and link um also like I'm going to I'm going to find the last time that we played this deck. And I'm going to link that. Uh, our deck looked a lot better. We, we went 5-0 the other time we, we played this deck. So, you know, if you want to see some more um, and better Jund Unsealing action than what we just had there. So this was a month ago. We went 5-0. I'm going to link it here in chat also for y'all. So if you want to see our deck do some good stuff and actually get to do some good stuff with Sarkin's Unsealing, going to link that there um i feel like we could be doing better things in our sideboard against aggro you know i just wasn't i mean yeah i, I could have sideboarded differently too i could have brought in the flame sweeps there i mean if that's kind of what flame sweep is for but i i thought that like my game my game plan was stronger than theirs if i actually got to uh, implement my game plan. I think my my biggest mistake there for how, you know, hindsight was keeping the hand on the draw of the two land, Rotting Regisaur, Ripjaw, because obviously we didn't draw lands three or four. So we didn't get, I mean, I guess we did draw land three, but didn't keep drawing lands. Um, yeah, that was my, my biggest mistake was like the not drawing lands thing. So yeah, we had a bunch of losses like where we just didn't hit land drops, which is, which is weird with this deck because we have so 24 lands isn't like the most. Usually you'd want like 25, 26 if you're thinking about land drops. But we have four commune with dinosaurs also, which is, this is just four more land drops because like if you want it, it's just pay one one mana get pay one mana get a land out of your deck. So really if if you don't if you're not even counting the mana creatures, that really is 28 lands in here. 
And we'd only draw like two all the time. Maybe a third. We just weren't getting to four with our 28. So that's unfortunate. Um, but that's how that's how magic goes. That's, that's what happens. Anyway, um, if you're watching on YouTube, um, again, I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the link down below to the the other John Dunn Ceiling League, uh, where it should be a lot more entertaining than this one. So I apologize for that. But I would still really appreciate if you hit the like and the subscribe buttons over there on YouTube. Also, leave some comments. Uh, let me know what you want me to build around for next week for our last Throwback Thursday that we haven't uh, built around yet. And also check out the playlist with all the other Throwback Thursday decks in there as well. There's just a lot of really good ones. But thank you so much for watching John Dunn Ceiling, and I'll see you for the next video.